Good morning everyone, it is Friday morning. Now that's what my diary tells me. I haven't got a clue what day of the week it is, uh, but I believe it's Friday. So happy Friday from sunny Devon. How are you this morning? That's what I want to know. And I'm gonna wait for a few waves to see if there's anybody there. Do you know what, I think I'm exactly on nine o'clock, which means I, got, I think you lot expect me to start at one minute past because that's when the clock chimes. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Oh, I thought that was the clock. Shall I see if I can turn this camera around and you can see the girls this morning? There. There they are. That's the view from my front step. And those are the girls. Haven't checked for eggs yet. Ah, oh, back again. Brilliant. So, is there anybody there? Give me a wave. I'd love to know. All right, what shall I talk about today? Now, oh, there's the clock chiming. That means you'll all be going, yeah, yeah, it's nine o'clock. Let's go and chat with Emma. Hey, there's somebody there. I love that. I spend my week talking to the wall guys, you know, when I'm teaching classes. So it's so nice to know that there are people the other side of the screen. Dawn's there. Good morning, Dawn. Good to see you. Well, we had to take Finnegan to the vet yesterday. Finnegan is our greyhound. Um, he had to have his routine vaccinations done and um, he has to have his claws clipped. That's not for cosmetic reasons, uh, but it's more because um, as a greyhound, if he ever gets off the sofa and decides to have a little sprint, he um, catches his claws if they're, if they're too long. So he went to the, to the vets yesterday and um, he's lost weight. He's lost three pounds. Good morning, Lindsay. <laughs> Good to see you. Just off to tackle another day of homeschooling. Oh, all the best with that one. The sun is shining here, so that's good, absolutely. So it's turned out that Finnegan's lost three pounds. Now, three pounds doesn't sound like much. He's clearly given it to me because that's what I've put on. But as a skinny greyhound, he was thin before we started. He doesn't want to lose another three pounds. So um, I'm on Operation Feed the Dog. All right, he's, um, the vet said to me, yeah, is he the sort of dog that just doesn't really bother with food? I went, mm-hmm, yeah, he is. Whereas our Labrador Spaniel called Casper will eat his food, Bessie's food, everybody's food. Good morning, Julie. Hello, Alison, uh, and hello, Mary. So it's funny, isn't it? Dogs are so funny. Some are just guzzlers. And some Finnegan will come like, well, I'll eat the chicken. I can't believe the dog food. Who do you think I am, a dog? Good morning, Pauline. So it's, it's, we're on Operation Feed the Dog this weekend to try and get a bit of extra food into him because he certainly can't, um, you can see his bones more basically. And of course he's had so much more exercise. I've taken him out, Andy's taken him out. Sometimes Kian takes him out. So this poor dog, <laughs> I mean, he loves to go for walks, uh, but he is naturally a lazy dog that likes to have his head on the feather. So the feather cushion, as you probably saw that post. <laughs> I posted earlier. Good morning, Amy. Um, so um, yeah, this little dog needs more food and less exercise, which is the opposite to most of us. <laughs> anyway, this weekend, I'm gonna be more Finnegan, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna try hard to not eat so much. Right, we've got a lovely busy weekend planned at Way to Venice. So today is Friday. For me, it's comfy bra day uh, because it means I'm doing Pilates this morning in a comfortable bra as opposed to, you know, one that <gasps> sucks you in and stops everything bouncing when I'm doing cardio. So I've got Pilates this morning. Now tomorrow we have got legs, bums and tums at 10 o'clock and then we've got our first ever dance party at quarter past 11 on Zoom. So Zoom is when you can see me and I can see you. That's going to be great. Now I've sent all those invitations out now. They should be sitting in your inbox, uh, ready for tomorrow. You click on the link and you join the uh, dance party. If you've not used Zoom before, don't worry. If you've got any queries, uh, give me a ring or drop me an email, okay? Um, so that is going to be for a good half an hour or so tomorrow and hopefully lots of you will have done the legs, bumps and tums so you'll be warm before we start. But we will be doing, those are very busy sparrows, aren't they? Um, we will be doing a bit of a warm up first. Now I need, you need to have reserved your slot because I need to have emailed you the link. If you haven't told me yet, you want to join our little dance party. We're basically doing lots of the dances so that we know and love, but we can't do at the moment because of the music limitations. But our plan is by using Zoom, we can use our own music. That's the plan. 
But before tomorrow, we've got the quiz. The quiz is tonight at 7.30. So that's going to be ex exactly where you are now. Here is the place to be. Um, Andy and I will be live. We'll be getting your feedback, your answers, having a real giggle. Um, and I hope that you'll be able to join Andy and I for our Way to Fitness pub quiz, 7.30 tonight. Hello, Carol. Um, I wanted to just read this out and a member posted this yesterday and I thought it was good because I think it's great to acknowledge that we're all in this lockdown together and we're all handling it in our own special way. Now I like this. Let's try to remember that we all process things differently. Some people are falling apart right now. That's okay. Some people will hold it together until this is all over and then crumble. That's okay too. Some people won't know exactly how this has affected them for a long time. It's all okay. Everyone is different and we're all just doing the best we can. And I thought that was a superb little poem that um, however we're feeling this Friday morning, I mean, as I say, most of us don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, just do the best you can. Try and link with nature as much as you can. Um, if you've got a garden or a park to sit in um, on your hourly walk, you know, no, 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 not your hourly walk, your hour long walk. Um, and um, try and connect, try and look after yourself. We've been talking about self care this week. I painted my nails for the first time in about five years, which I'm feeling very pleased about my toenails. Um, and it's just about being patient with ourselves as much as we possibly can. Oh, Andy's watching. Good morning, Andy. So, um, on this Friday, I hope you have a really lovely day, uh, whatever your plans are. Uh, it's Pilates for me, quiz tonight, lots on tomorrow. Um, and I have actually organised a hog taster session for 10 o'clock on Sunday morning because I've got some members who are actually working flat out in their day jobs and can't do exercise sessions with me during the day, so they can only do evening sessions. And so far, my hog taster sessions, which are free, have only been during the day. So I'm doing a Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. Again, that's on Zoom. So let me know if you've got a hog and you want a half hour of hog tuition on Sunday morning at 10. Anyway, I will love you and leave you. I hope you have a fantastic um, Friday. I am going to be a little bit more Finnegan, uh, not quite like, like, not like food quite as much as I currently do. And I'm going to keep active. Um, have a super day and I will speak to you. Or I'll see you all tomorrow. We don't do a step on a Saturday because we do legs, bums and tums at 10. But um, I will chat to you all then. And that legs, bums and tums um, is on our closed Facebook group called Way to Fitness Champions. Shout to me if you're not on it and I can stick you on it. Thank you. Bye.